Howdy y'all, this is Michael from Connor. I'm Michael. This is Connor. Let me show you. Actually, it's not really Connor. It's just stand in for now. His name is Banana. Connor's not here right now. He's at home. But uh, we are the new Dippin' Sensation on YouTube. Um, originally we had a video on here, but somebody flagged it. I don't know why. For what reason or whatever. I'm guessing it's because it has music in it. I don't know. So, I'm just redoing this without the music. Um, just a little bit of background info about myself. I'm 19 years old. Senior in high school. Uh, well, I'm going to get to that after I get my dip. Because I really want my dip. Um, so I got some Copenhagen original here. And the pretty neat thing is, this is the first time I've ever had one with a cardboard bottom on it. But, um, I'm not sure what my opinion is on this stuff. Just because, um, it, it's good and everything, but I just don't taste it with some amount. And when I go to take it out, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't seem like it's packed that well. But, I don't know what's up with it. It might just be the can. That, that um, because I've had some Grizzly before that packed real nice in my mouth and everything, but then I've had ones that were packed like shit, so, you know, when I'm trying a new dip and, when I'm trying a new dip, and I don't know if I like it or not, I'll do like two or three cans of it, just to, you know, get a good opinion on it, because mistakes happen and everything else, so, eh, I've been putting down on that, but, a little background story how I got this was <coughs> normally I do like damn what the hell normally I do wintergreen on any kind of dip like I bounce back between uh, Copenhagen Grizzly, Longhorn School Whatever is the cheapest at the time, because you know I'm a cheap ass. But I mean, when it comes down to it, just because I mean, you guys out there, money's not around a lot. I'd rather have the option of getting, you know, like two or three cheap ones for the price of one good one, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna have more dip, and I like to dip a lot. I mean, I just bought this can this morning and it's almost gone so I go through my cans pretty quick but so I just got fed up with wintergreen you know I'm the type of person who has to change it up like I can do the same thing I can really like something to do the same thing for a while but you know I have to change it up just cause it, it gets repetitive and boring like I'll bounce back between dip and chew like I'll, I'll dip for a while then I'll chew, then I'll go back to dip, and then going back to chew, just because I just like the difference. But um, so I went and when I went through the drive-through right by my work, I was like, I want something new. What what do you got there that's different than wintergreen and mint? Mint. I got a funny short tell you about mint in a minute, but. He's like, well, I got Grizzly Natural, Grizzly Shape, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, all right, give me the natural. And I tried the natural. The natural's not bad, except for the aftertaste on it. The aftertaste, I think, sucks. It tastes like ass. So after I finished that can, I was like, you know what? This is not one of those ones where I'm just going to keep doing it, you know, for like a couple cans. To find it. I just am not a fan of it. So I went and I got some Grizzly Straight because I, I had heard a lot of things that Straight Natural taste different. Well, I really like Grizzly Straight. And so when I went to the drive-thru again to get dip, like, I was like, well, can I get some Grizzly Straight? And they were out. So he's like, come back the next day. Well, I mean, I had enough to get me through, I thought, till the next day. Well, before I went into work, I took my last pinch and, you know, I was working. I work a hard labor job 
for like eight hours and you know eight hours without freaking your nicotine oh my god I thought I was gonna die so I go to the drive thru after I get off work and you know my car is down right now because I was built like I got a car and I used to be mechanic stuff and I, my family are actually like, I'll talk about that later but um it's up on jack stands right now because I just got done building an engine you know I'm putting everything and getting it running so I'm riding my bike to work no big deal I live like two miles away from work it just sucks when it's a headwind and it's uphill but then ironically when I go home there's no wind and it's all downhill like really except for today I had a headwind riding home and I had to go to the junkyard to get a power steering pump so here I am riding my bike with a power steering pump for like two miles yeah but anyways so I go in the drive there and it's like well you got to go straight and oh we don't have it it's like well do you have straight and anything else and the girl's like uh we got this and gave me this Copenhagen and you know not thinking about it I thought it was straight just cause I saw the red and a couple of my buddies do straight and you know I just saw the side of the can I didn't see the lid wasn't red so I didn't think about it but then when I got home, I saw it, and then I put it in, I was like, hmm, this stuff's good. So it's original. So I don't know if it's because it's original, or if it's Copenhagen's going back to the cardboard can. I don't know. But it's pretty neat having the cardboard can. And I don't know, it just seems like it retains the flavor better, and it's not, like, it's, it's staying more juicy, I think. Like, with Grizzly, it stays packed really well. With Copenhagen, it's really juicy with Skull Extra. The only stuff I've done to Skull that wasn't the extra was their cherry and their um, apple. Because, you know, they don't have those in extra. You get more flavor with that stuff. Because like with Grizzly Wintergreen and Copenhagen Wintergreen, I don't taste the Wintergreen at all. It's just like doing straight up, I guess. I mean, basically when I got the Grizzly straight, it's kind of like Wintergreen. I didn't taste anything. But, um, like with Grizzly, not Grizzly, um, with Skull Extra Mint, I really like that because you can really taste the mint, and it's like, it's that minty fresh feeling when you, get, when you brush your teeth. You know, the Orbit commercials where it's like, dirty mouth, chew Orbit or something like that. I'm like, dirty mouth, put in some Skull Extra, it'll make you feel minty fresh. Yeah, Let's do that. <laughs> not really. But, um, so, I bounce back and forth, because I like to change up my flavors, you know, it's like, you don't like to eat the same thing every day, you don't sit there and eat corn on the cob three times a day for all your meals, and you're happy with it, don't get me wrong, I like corn on the cob, but not every meal, I like to have my honey bunches of oats in the morning, or my Cheerios, I don't like honey nut Cheerios, I put honey on my Cheerios, it tastes different, it is different, I don't care what you say, it is not the same thing, People try to tell me it's the same thing, and it's not the damn same thing. So, sorry about that. You don't shit where you eat. That was random. It didn't make sense, and it, there's no relevance to this, but I'm just saying. But, so, I changed my flavors up a lot. You know, people are like, all oh, skulls, plus shit, cherries, plus shit, that's how you so. I don't give a fuck. I like the taste of the flavor. I like to change it up. I love Skull Apple, I love that flavor. You know, it'd be nice if Copenhagen or Grizzly would have that, those, like, more flavors like that, because at the end of the day, like, I'd rather have Copenhagen or Grizzly just because you get, like, more nicotine buzz in it. Well, I don't get a buzz anymore. I haven't got a buzz since I first started dipping. That's what sucks about dipping. Like, the first couple times you dip, you get a great buzz, and after that, you get nothing. So... I just feel more satisfied with the Copenhagen, like, I can go a little bit longer between my dips, because, you know, the thing that really pisses me off when somebody dips is when they put in, like, a huge-ass pinch. You know, like, put in your pinch or anything, buzz, flavor, all that, whatever your choice is. But they put it in for, like, five or ten minutes, then they spit it out, and they put another one. Yeah, they go through, like, a can a day, but that's retarded. Why waste your money on something you're just basically spitting out right away? See, when I do mine, I leave mine in for a long time. Like, I'll do mine for a few hours. And, you know, at my job, I work at a tack at Peace Harbor, which 
telling you right now, I love my job. It's hard work. I'm weird like that. I really like hard work. But, um, so, you know, I'm outside all day by myself. And so I can spit wherever my boss don't give a fuck. Just my customer there. I can take it out. Well, usually I put it back right here and just gut it for the customer there. But, um, so that's why I leave my <laughs> dip in all day. And I got there about a can of, like, a, a half a can of, <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting hit with the hiccups now. So I go through like half a can of candy. It depends on the day. If I'm pissed off or happy or sad or whatever I'm feeling at that moment in time. You know, I might be sad because Jersey Shore got canceled. Kidding on that one. I might be really happy because I might have got a really cheap can of dip. I might be really pissed off because I paid 4 55 for a can of Copenhagen when normally it's like two something. Sometimes it's a dollar sixty nine. I love it when it's a dollar sixty nine. Yeah, buddy. But, uh, this is just a little bit of my intro starty type thingy, my jigger. Hope you liked it. Damn it, I dropped my bottle. But, um, so, this is our, well, my intro. Connor will have an intro. I don't know when I'll see Connor again. I might be with him this weekend, so I'll have him make his. Uh, we'll probably do one together then. But, I'll, this can is almost gone. So, I'll definitely have a new can by the I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I know it's a brand new channel, so it's not going to get that many views right away. But um, if you guys are watching this, there's this girl named uh, Brandon something. I don't know. I think her name's Grey's Girl on here. She's hot as fuck. That's just the main reason I watch her videos. I don't care about the dip thing. She's just hot as fuck. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. We're going to do dip reviews and anything else. Whatever you want us to do, we'll talk about politics if you really want us to. We'll talk about Jesus if you want to. Praise the Lord. <laughs> um, yeah, just whatever. Um, and then I'll have a little bit a better video, give like an intro on myself, a little bit more about me. But yeah, this is Micah Sub Connor. Hit that subscribe button, comment it, and hit that like button. I'm probably pointing in random general directions right now. It's probably nowhere near. It. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how to end this. I'm already at 12 minutes looking at my webcam right now. So I better just shut up already. Okay. This is Michael Connor. Connor, you're Michael.